my country people this video is dedicated to judy austin you the doche and the likes of them those that like to support and say well he can marry any how many wives that he wants to marry <laughs> okay oh. see before as a woman before you go and make the same mistake judy austin is making right now you need to hear this and hear it way and know that this is from a legal like this is from a reputable man that knows the law that is into this kind of things okay so from DPA Family Law Clinic, I love these people because they are they are just peeling the fat. Says a piece of advice to women who date married men with the intention of becoming the second wife or to replace the wife. This video is for you. I am constantly aware that by the very nature of human beings, there will always be those who would engage in dangerous activities regardless of grave harm to themselves. So I often find myself advising those who live dangerously such as women who date married men in the hope that they would become second wife or a replacement to the wife if you do this first ask yourself the following questions number one do you know the type of marriage the man has even though nigeria allows polygamy it is regulated polygamy this means that it is not in all cases that the law allows polygamy on the harem if the man is a muslim and married his wife under the islamic law the sharia yes as long as he has not already married up to four wives he can marry you also if the man is a christian or a pagan and he married under the customary law of any of the indigenous nigerian communities there is hope that he can marry you as his second or third wife this is because islamic law allows polygamy up to a maximum of four wives and the customary law allows polygamy without limit to the number of wives however if the married man you are dating whether christian muslim or pagan married his current wife under the marriage act 1970 laws of the federation he cannot have a second wife let that one sink inside so judy Austin is an illegitimate wife <laughs> fake wife okay let me continue all right again polygamy in nigeria is a regulated polygamy it is not for every man make sure your own man is permitted by law to have a second wife if you make the mistake of marrying a man who is prohibited from polygamy your name will become judy <laughs> i think you say i like these people see the way he put the name of judy there your name will become judy mm -hmm. judy they hear your name you they see your life yeah you they see your life many people do not understand this simple point that even though nigeria law allows polygamy is not for everybody polygamy is regulated in nigeria you must make sure the law allows you to have a second wife and uh, for those men that also like to say well uh, in Igbo culture yada 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 we can marry many wives that we want this is for you keep listening okay you must make sure that the law allows you to have a second wife apparently even a supposed well-informed actor celebrity like you ledoche did not understand that he could not have a second wife that he was disqualified from having a second wife it also did not occur to him that he would be committing a crime by having a second wife judy austin also did not know this that was why the two have been proudly parading themselves not realizing that if we follow the laws of nigeria strictly they could be arrested and prosecuted for that because we're gonna go arrest them mm. especially that judy you need to enter her body her own not too much please if you don't remember anything i wrote on this post remember that polygamy in nigeria is a regulated activity it is not for every man if you are a man and you want to have a second wife make sure that your first marriage was not under the marriage act also if you are a woman and don't want your husband to have a second wife make sure he marries you under the marriage act well the here am huh. number two do you understand that the wife of the man you date can sue you just like just like we men don't do to judy austin <laughs> uh -huh. and it says this is another thing many did not know the law allows the wife to sue any other woman that has an affair her husband with her husband if the marriage was under the marriage act she can sue for the for damages and the court will award damages against you this is the risk every side chick should be aware of you are living dangerously because the wife of your sugar daddy can sue you she can sue you even if you have ended the relationship with her husband so it will be a double tragedy when the man is forced to end the relationship and you still get sued for what you did with him in the past 
what will happen if you had two children with the married man before his wife sues you indeed the children will be perfect evidence that you did what you were accused of doing you will likely be found liable without much effort what will happen if you and man have been parading yourselves as husband and wife in addition to having two children together again you better plead guilty if sued you cannot deny that you had okay you did kitty 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 <laughs> you cannot deny say uh, you knock with her husband when you have two children together you have been parading your sister's husband and wife the case will be a slam dunk uh, number three of what you need to know do you realize that the man is not really your husband even though he carried wine on your head and paid by price for you judy you didn't hear um this post there they just they like you're pretty you're pretty sitting on this table if a man cannot have a second wife under the law because he is disqualified from polygamy it doesn't matter that he paid what would have been your bride price he is still not your husband that is because he cannot contract a valid marriage outside the marriage he's already in you will remain only his girlfriend even if you have had 10 children for him and you have lived with him for 100 years what makes you a wife is not the number of children you had for the man or the number of years you lived together or the number of times you held him on social media <laughs> this one makes me to remember the prayer that said uh, judy uh, was you know she was going as she entered with cameras to come and video herself praying and put on social media for us to clap for her hey hey way way forcing yourself to be a wife and to and do the first one by all means hey, there's no first there's no second May queen may is the only wife that we know you are just a side chick eh? side hand that that's what this post is all about let me continue reading i beg okay it says um <laughs> what makes you a wife is the law and if the law says you cannot be his wife you will not be his wife regardless of what you do or what you say or call yourself also know that it is not the number of favorable comments you get on your social media posts that will make you his wife even if you like get all the people on facebook to help you and call you his wife that is not what makes a woman a man's wife it is the law and the law does not give a damn about what is said on social media so number four are you aware of certain legal presumptions about paternity if you are living with a man who is not your husband even though you foolishly assumed you are his wife and you have children while living with him those children are not necessarily presumed to be his children the law presumes that any child born by your wife is your biological child even without any paternity test however the law does not extend such presumption to children born by your girlfriend even though you had mistakenly thought she was your wife if the man and woman were not married a number of people have the right to demand that paternity be established by evidence rather than by presumption for instance let us assume that mr p gives birth to mr y and mr y gets his side chick pregnant and ignorantly begins to call his side chick his wife any descendant of mr p has rights to demand proof that the children of the side chick and mr y's biological children they have that right because otherwise they could be treating the woman's children as their relatives when they are not any other man who claims he has dated that woman or had even had a one night stand with her after getting drunk at a club can demand paternity tests to ensure that it was not during the one night stand that she conceived of the pregnancy indeed any man that is not your husband even if that man was wrongly parading himself as your husband in as much as the law does not recognize you as a married as married to that man there is not presumption of paternity in favor of the man and certainly the children of the man from his legitimate wife will have the right to demand paternity tests for the children of the man from his side chick they have the right to be sure that this child called their half brother is really their half brother they cannot presume that the child are related to them simply because their father lost his mind and called a girlfriend his wife hmm. why this post at this time from the recent cases we discussed on this platform it occurred to us that there is an alarming large number of women who are proudly looking for a married man they would convert to their husbands <laughs> some are looking for 
some married men they would bear children for also we discovered that there are many men who did not know that polygamy in nigeria is regulated that not everybody is allowed to have a polygamous marriage the level of ignorance on this subject is so astonishing that i felt the need to make a special post on it you will be living dangerously if you're a woman dating a married man with intention to snatch him or to become his second wife it is a path you should tread with caution Many are just realizing that it is a very treacherous road to walk. As for the men, you like to talk about what your forefathers did and about your right to marry more than one wife. Please be careful. Let the rat not jump into water with the lizard. Make sure the law allows you to do it. Otherwise, you will be that rat that followed the lizard into the cold river. Indeed, my advice to you is don't try it brother perish the thought it is not worth the trouble thank you god bless you sir you are a truth speaker you are like it suits me that this is an intelligent man a knowledgeable man that is speaking up this way trying to educate nigerian men trying to educate nigerian men that claim that they have the right to marry as many wives as they can afford as many wives as they as they feel as some women that feel like oh it is cool it is cool to be a second wife go on you see see this post especially for people like you okay this post is for people like you look at the trouble that judy austin and you are into they are going to pay 100 million naira damages for women yes for entering into a relationship and for you parading judy as, as his wife and judy parading him as her husband when may and you the Duchy have not dissolved their marriage which they had under the law under the act when i don't hear them hey i said make i bring this up there because anything will concern queen man where they make people to see the truth instead of seeing truth and call it truth and they like to bring them so that we go see them you see me so if they feel me so uh -huh. so women have this knowledge make you not allow any man to put you for one corner if your man married you under the act and the person won't go bring another wife this is your knowledge knowledge is power know that the man cannot do it unless you don't know your right let the man know say you know your rights uh -huh. that's it anyway now you are going down what do you guys think thank you for watching i'll see you for the next one bye you mm.